Okay, the first thing to do, I think, is to list the things you know. you got to do it every time. And if you happen to get some help with somebody who's in IV physics, they, it's the same formulas, but they have slightly different this letters. This is the Rosetta them. Stone right there. Yeah. So there, there you go. Yeah. So there's your translation if but you're talking to use any of your friends guys. from IV. And it's just a matter of the book is all. So we got to figure out this, which, which numbers go with which letters. And what you're trying to do is figure out, okay, the best way is to look at the units, and that's a good clue. So we know that the first two are both in meters per second. So those are velocities, right? Velocities. And so which one is final and which one is initial? Well, it says from and to. Maybe. So the from is going to be the first velocity, your starting velocity. And then the 26 is going to be your ending velocity, or initial and final. So then meters, isn't that going to be a distance? Yeah, it is. So now you got those as well. So we're looking for acceleration here. So we need to find one of those formulas that's going to allow us to solve for acceleration given the items that we have. But we can't. We don't know time. So we no can't time. use a formula that requires time to find acceleration. So we need to find one that has no time. Do, 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 is it this one? It's that one, I think. Yeah, yeah, to find the acceleration. If you want to find acceleration first, use that one. Okay? Yep, it's a great one. So let's, uh, so let's go ahead and plug in our numbers here. So I, this is what I recommend until you get good at it. Right, write the formula down, plus 2. Yep, that's the first. And then plug in what you know. So 26 squared. Times uh, 300. 300. Now if we were being super picky, we could put in the units right now. But as long as we got meters and meters per second, we, we know that it's, the units are going to come out in the wash. So it just it's going to be okay. So first thing you want to do is get aboard the calculator and figure What's out 26 what 26 squared. squared. We're looking at 676. Then you want to do 14 squared, and you find out that that's 196. Now, sometimes people get confused when they look at the next thing because it's 2a times 300. Well, is they don't realize that it's multiplied all together. You could go a times 2 times 300 or 300 times 2 times a. So let's just multiply those two things together. Isn't it going to be 600a? It would be. So... We get 600 times A. So, so let's subtract. Should we subtract? I like to subtract sure. that first. Let's, let's, go let's, let's get rid of that first. Minus 196. Right? Yeah, you got to so, subtract 196. So that gets rid of it on this side, right? So 676 minus 196. We're looking at 480. So 480. Equals and then, 600 times yeah, A. Yeah, right. 2 times 300. And now this is not a subtract. Every you time you subtract here... It, it makes our lives about 26 seconds short. Every time you subtract, your math teacher, who works so hard to teach you, will experience a mysterious abdominal pain that is so severe yeah. and brief that it yeah. will cause them to stop talking. It, it's, like, it's, it's like a voodoo doll. It's They'd not like, good. Eh. Okay, so, so here 480 divide. divide by 600, and that's 0 0.8 meters per second squared. And we're not quite done yet, because now we can take that. Guess what we can do with that now? We can add that to the list of the things that we know. And literally, to figure out the time at this point, we could use a great number of these equations. But I Hold think on that, just a second. One yeah, thing. go for it. So if this one comes out dead even, if it doesn't come out even, write down a bunch of digits. You don't need to write down 12, but write down 4 maybe. Okay. And then in my opinion, the best one to use is this guy. There's a variety of things we can use, yeah. right? We can use any of them, but the best one to use is the one that doesn't use A, because A can be wrong. Because somehow, maybe if you choked on figuring out A, then you don't get both of them wrong. Or if you wrote it down rounded, your answer will be even more rounded. So I think it's best to use this guy with no A. Right? Yeah. So let's draw a very straight line. Ooh, how straight that is. That's amazing. That's amazing. So let's use this guy here. So x yep. is 1 half vi plus vf times 2. So 300. 300. Just plugging these numbers in from there, right? Is 1 half 14 
plus 26 times t. So 14 plus 26, isn't that 40? Yep. And half of 40 is 20. So we get 300 equals 20 times t. And now remember, it's not a subtract, it's a divide. You're dividing so this. So 300 divided by 20, that turns out to be 15. And I feel a little silly that I actually just punched that in the calculator. He did. He it's, actually did. It's, been, okay. it's a long it's day. It's been a long day. It's been a long day. Okay, so there you go, kids. So step one, write down what you know. A little sleuthing there. Look at the units. Look at that, right? Step two, find if you're trying to solve for something, right? You've got to find something that's got that, but not the thing you don't know. Okay? And then when, just like Mr. Murray said, if you're looking at those lists, you know, if you pick one that doesn't include the, the acceleration that you just solved for, that's probably better. But, you know, just for fun, Any here's of some these would extra work. fun for you. Why don't you right now see if you can solve for t in terms of the other ones and use the 0.8? I bet you it turns out to be 15. What do you think, That would be Mr. how you check your work, wouldn't it? That would be how you check your work. Mm -hmm. Okay, the code word for this video is bravo. Bravo. Bravo.